Hey boys and girls, our book of the day today is called The Gift of Christmas. It is by Christine Lezen and it is illustrated by Gabby Hansen. So Christine is the one who wrote the words. She is our author and Gabby is the one who drew the pictures. So she is our illustrator. The Gift of Christmas. It was Molly Mouse's first Christmas. The sky was streaked with pink and gold, and there was a trying, there was a tingle in the air. Through the window of a house, something was shining and glittering in the night. What is that, Mom? asked Molly. It's a Christmas tree, said her mother. People cover it with shiny balls, lights, and stars. I wish we had a Christmas tree, sighed Molly. Why don't you go in the woods and find one, said her mother. You could make it look just as nice as the tree in the window. Molly thought it was a great idea. She called her brother and sister together and off they all scampered. On the way to the woods, they came to a barn. The mice rummaged through it, looking for something to add to their tree. Under a big pile of hay, Molly found a doll. This is like the doll on top of the Christmas tree in the window, she said. It will be just right for our tree. But the doll belongs to someone else. Grr, said the old farm dog. That's mine. Don't chase us, cried Molly. I only thought the doll would look nice on our Christmas tree. The dog yawned. It was true that sometimes he chased mice, but because it was Christmas, or because he remembered the Christmas tree in the farmhouse and how he used to play with the children there, he said the mice could borrow the dog, the doll. So the dog is being nice to the mice. He's not chasing them. He's letting them borrow his doll. The mice left the barn and walked across the barnyard, carrying the doll. They came to the edge of the woods. Hey, Molly shouted, I see something else we can put on our Christmas tree. It was a gold ribbon hanging from the branch in an oak tree. Molly scampered up to the trunk, took hold of the ribbon, and pulled. But the ribbon belonged to a magpie. A magpie is a type of bird. She had taken it to line her nest. Please don't be angry, said Molly. I only wanted the gold ribbon for our Christmas tree. Usually the magpie chased mice, but because it was Christmas, or because she had been admiring the Christmas tree in the window, she let go of the other end of the ribbon. Molly took the ribbon, thankfully. In the distance, Molly saw some shiny round things lying on the ground. They were like the shiny balls on the Christmas tree in the window. Exactly what we want, cried Molly, running to pick one of them up. Now we have a doll, a gold ribbon, and a shiny ball. Is that actually a ball? It looks like an apple to me. But those shiny balls belong to a fox. Those are my crab apples, he barked. I'm saving them for the cold days ahead. We only thought one would look good on our Christmas tree, said Molly, trembling. The fox sniffed. He chased mice most of the time, but because it was Christmas, or because he had never seen a Christmas tree before, he went back into the woods. Molly picked up the shiny crab apple and carried it away. Twilight was falling as the mice went deeper into the woods. There in the middle of a bramble bush, they could see a shining star and a dozen tiny lights glittering green and gold. Stars on our tree, shouted Molly. Let me get them. But when Molly reached into the bush, she found not stars, but a collar belonging to an angry mother cat. She had her kittens with her and their three pairs of eyes shone in the dark. Oh no, gulped Molly. I only wanted something sparkly for our Christmas tree. The cat pricked up her ears. She always chased mice, but because it was Christmas or because she remembered the Christmas tree in the cozy home where she had been a kitten, her, the mother cat slipped off the collar and let the mice have it for their tree. At last, in the clearing in the deepest part of the woods, the mice find, found a large evergreen tree. Our Christmas tree, cried Molly. They hung the doll, the ribbon, the crab apple, and the cat's collar on the tree branches. Oh, Molly said when they had finished, it doesn't look at all like the tree I saw in the window. Sadly, the mice turned away. Disappointed, they walked all the way back home and went straight to bed. 
In the middle of the night, the mother mouse woke up Molly and her brothers and sisters. Come with me, she whispered. I have something to show you. The mice scurried along behind their mother, past the farm and the, into the woods. Other animals hurried ahead of them into the deepest part of the woods. At last, the mice reached the clearing where Molly's Christmas tree was. Molly stood completely still. Her eyes grew large and round. Oh, look at that, she cried. What do you think she sees? During the night, the animals had all added decorations to the Christmas tree. The frost had came and touched everything with glitter. The trees sparkled and even the stars in the sky seemed to be caught in the branches with the biggest and brightest star right at the very top. Our Christmas tree is even better than the one in the window, whispered Molly happily. And because it was Christmas, all the animals from the woods sat quietly around the tree at peace with each other. So they added lots of shiny things to the Christmas tree. And there's one last look at the Christmas tree in the forest.